Hello guys, this is an introductory video for the Summer 2015 Smart Systems for Occupancy and Building Energy Control Project. The team is composed of Diana Leante Bonnet and myself, Irvin Steve Gartness. The project is based upon the ongoing research being conducted by Dr. Ali Mosafavi and Dr. Leonardo Bobadilla, both who serve as our mentors. Literature review on the design and development of buildings delineate the development of these structures for the sole purpose of comfort and refuge. Over time, these buildings and its components have evolved with technology to provide the most comfort to its inhabitants. But state-of-the-art buildings, smart buildings, have a broader mission that involves increasing energy efficiency and reducing environmental impact. Understanding the problem of developing such smart buildings calls for the consideration of a building's users as key players who can either have a positive or negative impact on the efficiency of such building. Therefore, tackling the problem of developing a smart building begins by educating users on their energy consumption habits and making them energy literate. The following is a list of user stories we completed throughout the five sprints. Later, we will go into more detail as we discuss the use cases. Allow facility manager to add users to existing zone. Allow facility manager to create a zone. Allow facility manager to remove users from existing zone. Create facility manager view. Create general user view. Allow user to unfollow a zone. View wasteful regions. View account reward points. Allow facility manager to edit a zone. Allow user to add appliances to a zone. Turn off lights in wasteful regions and earn points. Turn off appliance in wasteful region and earn points. Generate user statistic reports. Generate zone statistic reports. Allow users to earn points by sending notifications. Notify users of wasteful regions. Provide user rankings. Provide personalized feedback suggestions for users. Create user manual. Refine final document. The following is a UML use case diagram for both a general user and a facility manager user. A general user has the ability to unfollow a zone that he or she is no longer interested, view wasteful regions that consume too much energy, view his or her reward points, receive personalized feedback. A general user is able to view his or her ranking among all users from a building. In this version of the application, the user is able to earn points for positive behavior. Positive behavior entails turning off the lights in a wasteful region, turning off appliances in a wasteful region, and or sending notifications to users of a wasteful region. Finally, a general user is able to edit a zone by adding appliances. The facility manager user extends from a general user, meaning that it has all the general user's functionality along with some exclusive functionality. A facility manager has exclusive ability to edit a zone add users to a zone, remove users from existing zone, create a zone, view user statistic reports, and view zone statistic reports. The following are use case descriptions. They describe the logic behind each use case. following are respective sequence diagrams of each use case. Due to time constraints, I will only discuss the first two sequence diagrams. The first sequence diagram depicts an interaction of allowing the user to add appliances to a zone. The interaction begins when the user arrives to the zone description view that contains a menu, a menu item appliance button. Once in that view, the user clicks on the menu item appliance button. This leads to the controller of the zone description to communicate with the zone appliance activity 
which then starts the activity. Once this has occurred, the zone appliance activity creates a zone appliance view which contains a list of appliances in the respective zone. The user can then click the Add Appliances menu button, which launches an, an Add Appliances dialog, in which a user may enter the attributes of the new appliance he or she wishes to add. Upon clicking on the Add button, the Zone Appliance Activity controller will query and update the external database. If the query and update is successful, the user will be notified. The second sequence diagram depicts the interaction of a user on following a zone. First, the user is located in the My Zones view, which contains a grid list of zones he or she is following. The user then swipes left on one of the grid items, which shows a trash bin icon. The user then clicks on the trash bin icon, which triggers the controller to unfollow a zone. The controller then communicates with the external database and attempts to update the user list of followed regions. If the database is updated successfully, the user receives a message that reads successful. The system design is based off a model view controller architecture and a client server implementation. The model view controller architecture, also known as MVC, is used within the Android mobile application. The notion of a view through which a user interacts is represented by the user interface, interface components such as buttons and text fields. Next is a controller, which handles the logic and interaction between these user driven events and a data model. The model is a representation of data within the system. A client server architecture is used when establishing a communication between the mobile application and our web servers hosted in a LAMP server, a Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP server. The two main hardware components of the system are the Android device, which holds the mobile application, and the Linux virtual machine, a LAMP server. Communication between these two hardware components is established via HTTP. This is a representation of our data model. This diagram accurately shows a model view controller interaction. For example, to add a user to a zone, the facility manager must first interact with the application by clicking on a button. This action then communicates with the controller. In this case, the controller is located within the Add Users to Zone activity. The controller then communicates with the external database. This state machine is a simplistic view of the Android activity lifecycle. The main algorithm for allowing a facility manager to create a zone is as follows. First, we verify that the user is a facility manager. If the user is indeed a facility manager, we then go ahead and validate the input values provided by the user. If the input values are valid, we then go ahead and attempt to query slash insert the new zone into the database. If there wasn't already a zone by the same name, then the query returns successful and we show a success message to the user. Else, the user is notified that the query has failed. In a sunny day scenario of the test case, test create zone, we can expect the user to be shown the main activity screen with his or her zones updated. The purpose of this test case is to validate that the facility manager can create a zone. In a rainy day scenario of the test case, test create zone, we can expect the user to be shown a warning message that reads, Zone cannot be empty. The purpose of this test is to validate that the facility manager cannot create a zone with a blank zone name. In the following section, we show a demo of all the user stories developed for the facility manager actor. Once logged in, a facility manager can create a zone by clicking the Create Zone button and entering the appropriate zone attributes. A facility manager can also edit a zone by clicking on the Add Zone menu item button and clicking on the Edit Pencil icon. A facility manager can also add or remove the user of a zone 
by clicking on the Add Remove User Menu item in the action bar, then entering the appropriate emails. Once inside a zone description, the user can view the appliances of a zone and choose to add new appliances. A facility manager can also view temperature information of a zone, occupancy information, plug load information, and lighting information. The system can also predict AC consumption and the consumption of appliances. A facility manager can also view all of the waste for regions of a zone, then choose to turn off the lighting fixtures and appliances that are consuming too much energy. The facility manager can also send notifications to the users of wasteful regions. Finally, as a facility manager, the user can also view statistical reports of all the zones, all of the users, and also receive suggestions.